I've got a package here. Got it out the parcel locker. It ain't nothing but some containers. I ain't even gonna lie. It ain't nothing but some containers. Uh, nothing fancy. No, no tech or nothing like that. No Greek paraphernalia. Just some Tupperware. I'm trying to do some meal prep starting pretty soon. So I had to get some Tupperware to get started on that. How many come in here? But well, hopefully y'all are having a good day today. I know I am. I had to wear my Eagle stuff. Even though we ain't made it to the Super Bowl, we coming for everybody. We coming for everybody next year. Mark my words. <laughs> Yo, wow. Okay, all right. Well, well, I'm trying to see like the durability of them, but I guess they ain't that durable, so I better not be doing that. Wow. All right. But yeah, let me put these up real quick so I don't break any more of them. So I got some leftover pizza from the Super Bowl that I'm about to dive in here. This plate, it's all, it's all bent up because I did put this in the microwave. The paper plate is all bent up over the pizza, but we all good though. We all good. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can be confident in 2019. You need to get your confidence up, ladies and gents. You need to because this is going to help you level up. It's going to help you level up, man. And that's what my channel is about. Helping you level up in life. Helping you level up with MPAC organizations. Just leveling up. Being the best possible person you can be. So to start things off, we're going to talk about stop comparing yourself to others. Because that's what a lot of people do, man. A lot of people will compare themselves to the next person. The next a man will compare himself to the next man. Oh, he got a Corvette. Let me get a Corvette. Oh, he got a BMW. I need a BMW. Stop comparing yourself to the next person because only you know what you're capable of. Just because you don't have a fancy car, fancy house, wife, kids, or whatever, that doesn't mean that you're not on track to reach your goals. Social media got us comparing ourselves all the time. People be on Instagram and they see something and they be like, dang, I need to travel. I ain't traveling, so I guess I'm not doing something right. Or I guess my bag ain't big enough for me to travel. Nah, that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Like me, for example, I could travel if I want to, but I'm not about to travel every single weekend, every single other week when I got all my life to do that. I might as well save some money right now. Of course, I will be traveling more this year, but I'm not about to be like everybody on Instagram spending money on traveling every single week. That's just not me. I I ain't about to do that shit. Hell no. I got money to be saving. I wouldn't say that's the number one, but that's one way where you can start making your confidence go from here to here. Because when you're confident in yourself, you don't care about other people. I know that sounds bad, but you don't care about other people. You don't care about what they got going over there. You don't care what Tammy doing over there. You don't care what damn Daquan doing over there. Whatever they doing, they doing it. Like, it is what it is. Be happy for them. They got this, they going on trips. Clap it up for them. But you don't have to be like, damn, I ain't doing shit, right? Because I ain't doing that. They might just want to spend their money. And a lot of times, a lot of the people doing this stuff don't got it. On Instagram, straight flex. Pop the molly, I'm sweating. That's just what they want people to perceive them to be. But most of the time, people don't have it. They're struggling to do what they're doing. So don't, don't compare yourself to others. My next one will be, be honest with yourself, man. Be honest with yourself. If you can't afford something, why the hell are you buying it? Why are you trying to lie and make it seem like you're a certain way? Don't try to make yourself into something that you wasn't destined to be. Be honest because at the end of the day, if you lie to yourself, you lie to everybody around you and eventually, What's done in the dark will come to the light. How many people out here flaunting they got this, they got that, they throwing money up, they doing this and that. At the end of the day, are they really being honest with themselves? Are they really just doing this just because? Or are they actually doing this because they got it? A lot of people are living make-believe lives. It goes back to my last one. A lot of people are doing things off of perception. You can't be walking around here lying and making it seem like you got this and that, making it seem like you this person when you really this person. Like you gotta be honest with yourself in order to be confident because. Come on, come on. Accept your flaws. 
God created you to be a certain way for a certain reason. Your flaws can be positives. A lot of people start being like, oh, I'm too short. I'm too tall. I'm too skinny. I'm too fat. I got acne on my face. I got this. I got that. So I can't do this. And I can't, man, forget all that. Think about all the good things that you possess. 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 <laughs> think about all that good shit. Don't think about the flaws. Everybody want to think about their flaws and not the positives and not the good things that they offer and have embodied in them. Everybody want to think about all the things they don't have. Everybody want to think about all the things that they lack. But what about the stuff you're good at? What about the stuff that you actually contribute to the world? What about all the good things that you have going for yourself and your looks? Think about that stuff. Stop thinking about the things you wish you had or you wish you were. Your flaws can help you in some ways. You just got to figure out a way to flip it. The next tip to be confident is be thankful for what you have. Everybody around here wants something else. Yeah, one day I want me a Mercedes G-Wagon. Yeah, one day I wouldn't mind getting a BMW or something like that. But am I pressed I don't have that now? No. Be thankful that you have a car. Be thankful that you have a car you can go to work in. Be thankful you have a car that's working. Be thankful that you have a car that you can even call your car. You don't got to borrow it from somebody. Don't worry about all the G-Wagons and the Mercedes and the BMWs and the Jaguars and all the sports cars that you don't have. Worry about what you got now. And thankful you got a roof over your head. You know what I'm saying? Do I want to be in downtown Atlanta looking at the damn skyscrapers when I wake up in the morning? Hell yeah. But am I pressed I don't have that right now? Hell no. I could have been on the streets. I could have been back in South Carolina. I could have been somewhere else. I could have been in something way worse than this. Like, be thankful for what you have, guys. Let's tip the self-confidence and stop hating on people, bro. You gotta down somebody else to feel better about yourself. Oh, shoot. But yeah, if you gotta down somebody else to feel better about yourself, that's not good. That's you seeking validation through hating on somebody. Like, if you feel good hating on somebody and downing somebody, that's a whole nother problem. That's a self-confidence problem. That's a lot of problems in one. Whenever you are self-confident, you're happy for whatever goals somebody else is reaching, whatever accomplishments somebody is complete, like you are good. But when you hating on people, that's a self-reflection of you because you might not be where you wanna be. So you hating on everybody else that's where they wanna be, so now you hate it. So then that's a self-confidence thing, man. The moment you start hating is the moment you start telling a lot about yourself and a lot about your own self-confidence. But this last one, is know yourself. I cannot stress this enough. Know yourself. And if you don't know yourself, it's perfectly fine, but try to take the steps to get there. Because I guarantee you, when you start to know yourself, know what you're capable of, know your goals, know your purpose, know what you're trying to do in this world, you will be a force to be reckoned with, bro. Your confidence will be up here. Like, I can instantly tell when somebody know themselves or know their worth or know what they're capable of in life. I, I can just tell, it's instant. Out of all these tips, strive to know yourself, strive to find yourself, strive to be on your purpose, strive to figure out what you can contribute to this world, whether it's professionally, whether it's on the side, whether it's just with, com with the community, with your family, what have you been brought on this earth to do? Because all of us have a purpose here. All of us have goals. But does that line up with what you would really created to do on this earth. Know yourself. <laughs>